Hello everyone, in today's video I'm sharing with you how to change out the cell battery contained inside your 2021 Hyundai Elantra key fob. I did get an alert through my car indicating that my key fob battery is low and that means it's time to change it to avoid a future problematic situation. We don't want problems, so when it comes to key fobs, it's important to change your battery, especially when it is displaying that it is low because you never know with cold weather, the battery cell may just stop working completely. You may uh, get lucky, be able to shake it and give it a go. But I'm going to share with you how to change it out. I picked up these Duracell 2032 battery cells. And I'm going to show you exactly how you two can go ahead and install a new battery into your key fob. Okay, first of all, as you'll see, this is like the main front of your key fob. Okay, on the back side, there is actually... A little tab that you're able to go ahead and slide downward if you're holding it in this position it would be the opposite um, if you're holding it the other so anyway so you're gonna slide this tab down you'll see it it moves freely okay when you slide it hold slide and pull out your vehicle's key this is an actual key that if you took off the trim portion on your door handle you would be able to reveal a keyhole so you can stick this in there and that'll manually unlock or lock your door if you come into a situation where your vehicle's battery is dead this is the way that you would be able to enter into your vehicle okay now on the inside of I'm going to set this down don't lose that <laughs> you'll need it for later Okay, on the inside, you'll see the inside. This is where your key came from. If you're holding it like this, okay. Your key came from the bottom right portion, okay. Just above that, you'll see like, oh, it kind of reminds me of where you would insert in a SIM card or an SD card or something else like that. There's, there's a little portion there, okay. Now... I know some of you may have this, this tool, some of you may not, but for this, I actually found a set of tweezers and this is um, Japanese brand tweezers. I picked them up at Rite Aid. I picked up my batteries for $7.49 at Rite Aid, by the way. But as far as um, you want to find something that you can go ahead that's thin, that's not big, not the key because... I've tried maneuvering the key and that, does, that doesn't help. Okay, anyways, you simply push inward something, okay, into this section. Something that's about this size, okay? And you push inward to that little tab area, okay? And when you push, okay, just turn slightly. So hopefully you all can see. Okay, I'm going ahead and I'm pushing in and I'm just going to turn a little bit into that area after pushing now you may have to go ahead and twist maneuver or something else like that but this is how i was able to open it i went ahead and i just wiggled it a little bit and basically what you're trying to do is you're trying i don't know if i'm showing this on film right but you're trying to separate this portion so i found these tweezers helpful because the back side, and then I just simply wiggled around. You can you can use the key portion if you want, but you don't want to crack inside there. You don't want to crack your tab, but I wiggled up top. Okay, just enough. Hopefully you all saw that. Okay, I wiggled in that portion, and then I was easily able to separate the portion of my key fob where I can do the battery replacement. So this is my key fob, and I'm slowly taking it apart. Okay, and I don't want to lose anything. Okay, but you'll see on the bottom side, there's my battery. Okay, and it says my battery is, is good until 1025. But of course, with normal use of my vehicle and things like that, you know, my, my battery has become low. 
Now you'll see the battery itself was a Bexel CR20323 volt lithium battery made in China. Okay, and it says don't throw in the trash, recycle. Okay, next step. You can set this down if you'd like. Okay, hopefully again you all see what I'm filming. And you're going to take your, your batteries that you picked up, wherever you pick them up. And you can open them now. These ones are good till 2032. Okay, and it says use scissors, but I'm using my fingernails. You can use whatever you want. Remember, just be careful taking apart your key fob because you don't want to you don't want to break it because you need it. Apparently, they cost a really lot of money, but it says take scissors. And it says child resistant, fun things like that. I'm trying to do it by my hand. Of course, you all will have all those tools, I'm assuming. I'm trying to crack the plastic open with my hands. Of course, I, I didn't expect that I was going to need all of these tools to go ahead and open something like a set of batteries. So... In a pinch. I really want that battery out, so cutting it away. Sometimes it takes the longest just to just open up the battery, right? So once you finally got your battery out of your package. Now you know how hard it is to open those batteries. Okay, you'll see it's uh, the same as the battery. It says CR2032. Now you want it to be facing you like this, okay? And what you want to do is you want to take your key fob and you want to put place your battery just like the initial one was in there. Now, if it doesn't want to go in, it's because there's a spring. So, you want to make sure your spring goes in like so. And you want to push on it. Okay. Now, placing your key fob back together is reverse of how you took it apart. With the exception of you don't have to mess around with that separation aspect. Okay. So, there is everything about your key fob. And you're going to... Place it on top like so. Okay. And you're going to give it a couple presses. Slowly and carefully all around. All the way around. You see how it's separated still? So you want to just keep pressing. Now if it doesn't seem like it's lining up right, you can try putting this down and just give it a good snap. You'll hear it snap on every aspect. Now look around to make sure your seams are closed. My seams are nice and flush together. Seams are nice and flush. Seam is nice and closed and flush. Okay, now it's time for key insertion process. You're going to stick your key back in. So if it doesn't go in right away, that's okay. And then you're going to wait for the click. Click. Okay. And to test it, you would just lock, unlock, and you see it's working and it's fine. And it should light up too. See how it lights up. Perfect. That means you did a great job. You've successfully changed out your 2021 Hyundai Elantra key fob battery. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it a little helpful. Again, be careful. It's your key fob. Hopefully you're doing this at home and you're not, you know, going ahead and filming just for the purpose of uh, showing others the same thing I just showed you. But this is, this is what you would do to change out your key fob battery in your 2021 Hyundai Elantra. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more great videos. I hope you enjoyed this. And other than that, I hope you all have a great, wonderful, happy, and healthy, wonderful day. Thank you, everyone. Catch you on the next video. Bye.